What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off where we left off, we are assaulting the garrison at Brussels to get rid of this Spanish pustule behind our rear lines and we will then probably have to follow up and attack this farm because this army is not being called in for reinforcements. So let us assault. They do have mortars but I think a French style and just go straight in. In the method of Bonaparte we should be able to bring them down because they have nothing but militias which on the open field won't be enough to hold us particularly as we have absolutely brilliant artillery I think eh, terrain's not great Ooh. I'm looking for a nice hill to drop my artillery on so I can kind of forget about it. So what sort of range do the guns get? Pretty darn far. Well, I can bombard most of the town. Then I'll put my howitzers more in a position more central. Cool, now let's storm the town. Let's get, to be honest, I've got a, a very nice elite force. And these guys will go straight in. These two units of line infantry will secure the woods ahead of my guns. Did I not... I did not grab... Let's keep my light cavalry on inboard. Just put my raw actually no, put a raw crossier guard this side because I, I anticipate this is where the fighting's gonna be. Then I have a light cavalry on the far flank to skirt. And then my general, just go here. Run! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Holy moly. So where's their mortar pits? I don't see any mortars, not even on the map. Oh no, there they are. Might be a bit more aggressive with this artillery actually than having them sat where they currently sit. Bring these guys out of the trees to begin engaging. <clears throat> to begin engaging these chaps. Let's bring one of my guns up to the battle line. Do you need to consider the fact that they've got just loads of troops? So maybe something more like that, so I don't spread. So I don't get spread myself too. Well, not spread myself too thin, but you know. So let's get on these guys on quick line. Oh, they can't engage. Stick with the round shot. Is that them mortars they're managing to make route? To be honest, I'm actually a limber up. limber out my howitzers and get these guys to redeploy at pace in this direction. Let's pull my artillery back. And 
And then let's pull oh, stupid group orders. Something more akin to this. Move my formation over here. I don't think they're going to leave me a nice convenient position to swamp their defences. Redeploy these two chaps so they don't overlap the guns too much. I begin to engage. Let's advance this flank up. By the looks of it, I might be pushing on one flank. Let's get these guys limbered up and moved up. Are they running? Nope, they're walking. Push up aggressively, because they're not going to be in formation. Let's get these guys to unlimber and just go straight to shrapnel. Shrapnel shot. You weren't expecting that, were you? A massively aggressive offensive move. It's got the 19th Regiment of the Grenadier Guards. run because you might you might get caught out if you're not careful massed firepower against irregular troops by elite troops so the, let's deploy my cavalry into the fight Infantry to form a new line. Straight in. The Royal Curacia Guard. See if they can break their forces and let's hold fire with everyone. You go into the conscripts. Fire well. Push through. Push through and get my line to re engage. Keep going, just go straight through. Straight through their line. Still okay. Let's get my chasseur cheval. Push up. Let's deploy you there. Let's deploy you there. Let's deploy you there. Oh no! Come here, cavalry. Let's get you back into the safety. Oh wow, you shot a bunch of my own crossier guards. Look at that! Wow. In which case then they get the job of chopping up some militia. You, Chasseur Cheval, get to come around the flank and hit that mortar group because they've now left it nicely isolated. You unlimber and 
far and quick climb. Because these guys have a lot of work to do. Go, go for the guns, because they're gonna they're gonna come and try and make you they're gonna come and try to stop you. Train to that militia garrison unit. <clears throat> Let's get rid of that annoying advice. can do shrapnel shot, name of their file I'll come citizenry and go here. Yep, it's understandable you'd be shaking my lads. Good they are routing, not coming back. You were originally told to fire, to hold your fire, and now you may fire at will. Here comes the quick line. Get after the garrison water unit, get you guys over here. This conscript unit was hiding. Sneaking. Yep, you get that single gunner. That's their general. Smash train this militia unit, because these guys should get decimated from the master of volleys. This flank's completely folded, more or less. You hit that garrison militia unit. Let's have a look at these Grenadier de, Grenadier de France. They look much more Napoleonic. This Cassia Guard is going to hit. Well, they're routing, but they may as well get some kills. Send these three troops to go start to engage those towards the rear of the map. Chase down the garrison militia. And their poor quality infantry cannot stand under the under the shot after shot after shot of prime French troops. Okay, do in round shot and start bombarding some of these guys towards the rear. Um, chase after a militia garrison. I'm just send them to move en masse into the next area. Where's Mont General? Aha! They've tried to come back. have they I 
So let's get my crosshair guards to flank around. Get these guys just to hit straight into them. God, they got friendly quick climbed. So no wonder they're wavering. Those crosshair guards have had a nightmare. General, go right into them. They're trying to charge into my infantry, but they're going to be caught first by my cavalry. Oh no, quick line coming in. <laughs> okay, all of you. <laughs> God, this has been one friendly fire cluster, this has been. Stop bombarding the centre of town. All of my artillery, foot artillery, just stop. Storm the town. That's fair enough, my cavalry decided to rout. They were left rather high and dry. But now we are going to just, just go in by storm. And let's halt the artillery bombardment. Who's leading? It's the Maison de Roy. Maison de Roy. We cannot withstand them. They cannot withstand the French bayonets at close range. Here comes some Rose Sudois. Another Maison de Roi unit leading the charge on the right flank, uphill. They're forming up into a line, but they're facing the wrong way. A Grenadier Guard unit, Line Infantry unit, and an Elite Guards unit. My General's not in difficulty, he's just chopping up some Spaniards. These conscripts are falling thick and fast. The 90th Regiment of Militia. The 90th. You engage their support. Catch the reserves flat-footed. No, this way. Don't worry about charging the rear of this formation. Your brothers can cope over here more than adequately. They are holding themselves quite well though. Get my Royal Crescent Guards to hit them from this flank. They are tired, they are concerned. However, the quality of our troops will win out eventually. These guys are. Well, apparently, my, I think my guys are just much more tired. And they're unhappy because one of my units is very scared. So, on one flank, these guys have been engaged by some elite infantry. On the other side, they're being charged by. Some heavy cavalry. Yeah, let's throw these into this fight. Yes, I have to say, these conscripts have held up rather well. Just to show, even bad units can at least tie up good units. Nevertheless, the French will prevail. Oh, oh Frenchman just got clubbed in the face. Oh no! Oh, good. Chase them down. Oh, got him. Onwards. Yeah, they've done a lot of damage over here. I suppose because my guys are tired. 
Where are... Come on, everyone. Run on into these guys. Make them pay for this. Not that it's going to matter very much because they're about to capture the city. God, this was a bit of a bloodbath, wasn't it? Heroic victory? I don't think so. I lost much, much, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that as a win. Oh yes, large, large losses for Gaspar Ramirez. So he's falling back to regroup. Army of Brussels has secured the capital. And these forces will engage. Oh, I might just knock on the head, that'd be another... Another quick battle against a, a mob. So hot on the heels of the one behind, might be a bit boring. Mm. Let's bring out the Strasbourg garrison. <laughs> the Strasbourg garrison can move... To Württemberg to begin to form another really boring but still useful army. Then let's take the Cologne garrison to go hit the remaining. Oh god. Got him. So you probably go. I don't know where you're gonna go. Down towards Turin, I suspect. That's where you'll be needed. You, good sir are going to approach Milan from... Oh, I can't. I have, to I have to advance through this way. I wanted to approach from the rear. Um, and then... So you can have four more fusel ears. James... James Fitz James. <laughs> James Fitz James. Move south. I begin to threaten the Spanish capital. You good sir. Well you can replenish and also head south to threaten the Spanish garrison. You good sir will stay where you are. Then let's infiltrate Gibraltar. Good, Gibraltar is infiltrated. Oh god. Why is it all gone? Okay. Whew. Okay, so that's Spain in Europe. And let's begin dismantling the Spanish Empire in the colonies. Because that was... Good God, this guy's a very good general. See, this is what you chaps wanted. Not that, not the Spanish penny-pinching of old. You've now got a, a substantial cash injection. So if I move you out... You go to Lower Louisiana. Let's upgrade you. And this army, I presume, I can move you out. Yes, move south immediately to threaten Upper Louisiana. Good, good, good. Ooh, then you. This is a very boring army. Some mounted tribal auxiliary. And let's take. Let's now you're going to Felix Rousseau with HMS Ocean. He can blockade in this port here. Auto block in this navy. Yeah, that's a fairly weak navy. Okay, so what I'm going to do. So let's recruit. Let's begin recruiting a bit of line because I want to move out the garrison from here because they're far too useful to just leave penned up in a fort. Does leave it a bit exposed for Genoa, but we're still allied. Let's take my navy and let's go hit Uba. Let us secure these resources for the good of the actually no go into here 
Well, that's probably not even quicker because it doesn't look like they've got roads. Although, to be honest, it looks like we're going to have to engage that army at some point. Mission successful. Capture regions. Oh, Louisiana's ours. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So I do have all of... I do have Louisiana's territories. I do have the northern... America's back. God, they've not done any investing, have they? Low-tier buildings. Okay. Let's get my agent to infiltrate Upper Louisiana. So I'm going to take Milan, I'm going to take Calgary, and I'll want to take Naples, because I don't want the French... I don't want the... Spanish to have any leeway. And then back to the Russians. Oh, you are very... Oh, okay. You're depleted because you left your guns behind. Then I'll move down and hit Minsk and knock out the uh, Swedes. You double back and knock out them. Because I don't hate wandering stacks. Then you move down here. And threaten them. Get into a position where they'll have to respond. Do they wish to come out? Oh, yeah, he's going after this little straggler. Then I'll take Don Voisko. The Crimean army can secure the bridge crossing to the peninsula. It would appear these chaps may intend to cross. Oh, sorry if you can hear a hammer outside. That's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Wasn't quite done, so we gave it another go. Okie dokie. Cool. Well, I can finally... May as well repair these, because I doubt the Russians are going to get a chance to do as much as they would like. Some Vilnius is ours. When this army is sieging Minsk, these guys will head west and hit Konigsberg, and then we'll hit Gdansk from three directions. And then in India, well, we can kind of... Well, we can let them come to us, really. We've secured what we need to secure. Probably keep pushing up in Hindustan. Great. Let's give broadband upgrade of Ahmedabad and Gujarat. And then Narun, because the thing is in Narun is it, it's a bit of a bulwark against guys coming from. Well, if Persia decides to declare war on me, these are the guys. I can't afford to let this city get uh, taken out. So you are very depleted. But you will move up. Coaching in, pleasure gardens, cloth mill. Okay, I'm going to want to destroy one of these guys to build a um, church school. Just to keep getting... Just to keep getting some sort of bonus. Conversion bonus. So that's Dagestan. What else does Dagestan owe? It's just here. Okay, I'll move on them when I move on Dagestan in this area, but it depends on what they're... Allied with Persia, Russia, Georgia, and the Mughal Empire. I'm at war with the Mughals. At war with the Russians. I'm not at war with the Persians, but could be. And the Georgians, they're the Georgians. So ultimately, if I declare war on them, then this whole area becomes a... becomes a war zone. So I might wait a little bit before moving on Dagestan. Um, here, I think they're going to move within range of one of my armies. Although these guys look like they might... Mm, oh, that stack's like almost dead anyway. Okay. Guys, in this fort, 
to move up. Okay. Yeah, you're a bit unhappy, but what if I untax you? Yeah, you're not so un angry now. Let's get roads on the go. Almost everywhere. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Look at that trade. Uh, Okie dokie. So why are you unhappy? Because you were bankrupt, but you're not bankrupt anymore. You're owned by us, and we've got loads of money. Oh, this guy got a trait. Let's move him back up to Bryansk. Oh, this is World War now. I've got I'm at war with the Ameri in the Americas, in Europe, just everywhere. And then Portugal will be will remain so because obviously I'd like to get some armies down here to hit Madrid and then we could land, take Gibraltar, cross the river, take Tangier. I said one of these guys probably go take Sardinia. Uh, Turin's just currently fortified, so if they do try and move out, that's going to be a slaughter. They've got one demi cannon to eventually make a breach. Let's hit in. Let's hit in turn, because right now it's the end of the the end of the turn. Oh, the fuse laser are trying to catch after them. Actually, what? So that army that I combined garrisons, I may actually send them to watch on the Austrian border. Oh, for a second. Okay, this is going to be the start of it. They're demanding I give them territory, and I'm going to refuse. So they will probably move on me, or move against me. So those garrison forces I need to redeploy to cover the front with Austria. They've been a useful ally, however, their usefulness is running out. Particularly when we cancel trade, because I think I'm probably their biggest trade partner. Give no visibility on where those armies are going via the northern passage of through through the Pyrenees, maybe. Ah, they've evicted me, and they've gone back to raiding. The Ottoman agents. If I was the Ottoman Empire, I'd be very, very, very careful about who I who I attacked next. Again, some mileage out of those roads. Think of those dirt roads? Because I think when they do go into cobbles you can hear more footsteps. Ah, they have engaged me, and have they called in? They have called in reinforcements, so we will be fighting this. Uh, however, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defence against this Russian attack.